Jitterbit Harmony provides many options for automating your business processes. In this video, we will cover five main ways for you to connect to your application using Jitterbit Harmony and its components. We will first cover out-of-the-box application connectors that are available with your subscription. For those applications that a connector is not available out of the box, there are multiple choices depending on the complexity and requirement for connecting to these applications. Standard-based connectivity, such as ODBC and JDBC for databases, REST and SOAP for applications that expose APIs, FTP and SFTP for file-based integrations are examples of making connection to an application simple in Jitterbit Harmony. Using Jitterbit Connector Builder, one can create a reusable connector that provides the same experience as many of the Jitterbit provided application connectors. This can be leveraged in many applications that expose RESTful APIs. For more complex and non-RESTful APIs, Jitterbit Connector SDK provides a set of rich functionalities so that you can create your own powerful connectors. Note that the connector created by Connector Builder and Connector SDK are only available for your org or any other org that you share your connector with. Finally, if you have already created code, say in Java or .NET, for example, to connect to an app, you can extend Jitterbit Harmony by calling your code with our designer as part of your integration flow. Now that we've seen some of these connectivity methods, let's go ahead and see them in action. Jitterbit Cloud Studio, where you create your integration workflows, provide many out-of-the-box connectors to both cloud and on-prem applications. The number of out-of-box connectors will grow as we work with our customers to define the roadmap for these future connectors. These connectors include enterprise applications that have been traditionally difficult to integrate with, as well as some of the common systems that are often part of many of our customers' ecosystem. They include BigCommerce, BMC, Coupa, Jira, Microsoft Dynamics 365, NetSuite, SAP, Salesforce, Slack, Snowflake, Workday, just to name a few. An example of such connector is NetSuite with all its activities that are supported. This gives the designer of the integrations the ability to create integration workflows via drag and drop and with configuration instead of coding. Shopify is another example of such connector with complete set of functionalities. For those applications that provide ODBC or JDBC access to the underlying database, Jitterbit provides a rich set of functionalities via the database connector. Although Jitterbit provides many JDBC drivers out of the box, you can also leverage third-party drivers using private agents. For more information regarding private agents, visit success.jitterbit.com. Also available are FTP and SFTP connectors, file share, HTTP, and SOAP connectors. Now let's take a look at Jitterbit Connector Builder. As you can see here in our internal org, we have created many connectors using Jitterbit Connector Builder. When an application exposes RESTful APIs, there is a great chance that you can create a connector using Jitterbit Connector Builder. With so many SaaS applications out there with REST APIs, creating reusable connectivity that provides similar user experience as out-of-the-box uh, Jitterbit connectors has become an attractive solution to many of our customers. Let's look at one of the connectors, Bamboo HR. As you can see, this four-step wizard allows users to define the endpoint, authentication method, a nice logo, and a set of activities that are needed. Once the connector is created, it shows up amongst all other connectors for the organization with, this, with the same set of defined activities. Well, what if you want to develop your own robust connector? In that case, Jitterbit provides a connector SDK that allows you to use Java or .NET to develop your own robust connectors. Visit developer.jitterbit.com for great documentations, how-tos, tutorials, and sample code for creating your own connector using the SDK. Please note that the connector developed with the connector SDK requires a Jitterbit Harmony private agent. Again, for more information regarding private agents, visit success.jitterbit.com. Finally, if you already have code that you want to leverage within your Jitterbit workflow, there is great documentation on creating and exposing plugins in Jitterbit. There are sample code for writing plugins on this site. We also have Jitterbit plugin creation training course at Jitterbit University. As with the connector SDK, custom plugins require Jitterbit private agent. Once you create your plugin, 
The plugin becomes visible in your list of available plugins in Jitterbit Harmony's Web Management Console. At this point, you can associate the plugin to your agent, which is private, and start leveraging plugins in your integration project. All out-of-the-box plugins provided by Jitterbit are available for both private and non-private agents. As you can see, Jitterbit provides great out-of-the-box connectivity to many popular and complex applications that are part of your enterprise. It also provides a great set of tools for configuring or developing your own connectivity. For more information, visit our success portal at success.jitterbit.com.